Welcome to Champions of the Parish. Today we're going to be doing a deck tech on my one of my uh, EDH decks that I use. And it's going to be of uh, Azuri, the Claw of Progress, as you can tell. This mat is themed for it. So I figured why not go ahead and just do this one first. Uh, it's Azuri, uh, the Claw of Progress, a 2 blue green. He's a 3-3. Three, three. Whenever a creature with power of 2 or less enters the battlefield and control, you get an experience counter. At the beginning of your combat of your turn, put in, put X-1-1 one, one counters on another creature you control where X is in the number of experience counters you have. So, kind of going along with that, this is a 1-1 one, one, uh, themed deck. Uh, synergizes a lot with uh, plus 1-1 one, plus one counters. And I'll go through all the creatures and all the other spells in this deck that I use to synergize with the plus one plus one theme. Alright, first off I'm going to talk about Planeswalkers in this deck, or Planeswalker. I only have one, and it's a uh, Jane Yang Yu Wildcrafter. It's a mana ramp. Each creature you control gets plus one plus one. Or with a plus one plus one, has, has tapped to add one mana of any color. So it's definitely a Planeswalker that goes great with this deck. Again, this is the only Planeswalker that I'm using. Okay. Alright, the kind of separated my creatures by color in this deck. Um, the first creatures I'm going to go through are my Simic creatures, or blue-green creatures. Uh, Mormir Vig. Uh, use this to help uh, tutor cards if I need uh, cast a green creature. I can search for a car a green cre or a creature card put it on top of the deck uh, If I was you know cast a blue creature I can draw the top of the deck So if I happen to play another Simic card the double triggers and that pretty much tutors for any creature that I, can, that I need uh, Rollisk apex hybrid flying trample uh, enters, puts two 1-1 one, one counters on another creature, and he also has a double proliferate when he dies. Zagana, Utopia Speaker. Voral, the hull of the hull clad. Uh, great for doing it for explosive power buildup and doubling all the 1-1 one, one counters. Uh, experiment jaw uh, crotch however you say that word uh, prime speaker Zagana crew fix god of of the hori of horizons helps a lot with uh, mana it's a mana ramp card and hand uh, size uh, lore scale cult master biomancer one of, the, one of my favorite cars from uh, word of spark uh, merfolk skydiver uh, helps with put what well, plus ones and it has proliferate it's kind of expensive on the proliferate but I'm sure late game that won't be wouldn't be a problem of course it's not the only proliferate card in the deck fathom mage one of the few uh ev evolve cards all right next we're going to go through the mono green cards that i have in this deck uh first one is going to be my korean colonial hydra it doubles up a uh, plus one plus one counters on it Evol evolution sage uh, land almost a kind of a landfall ability for a proliferate. They should have put that as a landfall, but it's same thing. Hornet Queen, one of the few cards in this deck that really doesn't deal with plus one, but puts a good bit of uh, one one tokens into play. Uh, it's a really good uh, defensive card. You get her as def uh, as death touch plus the four. 1-1 one, one Insects also have Death Touch, so that's a very good defense card. Uh, Forgotten Ancient. Karametra's Accolade. This is a, a Devotion Mana Ramp card. Uh, 
Hungering Hydra, one of the other few Hydras I have in this deck. Experiment 1, good first turn uh, card. Vine Lasher Kudzu. Primordial Hydra. Birds of Paradise, one of the most famous uh, Mana Ramp cards. Dire Sage. Witch Stalker. Thelonite Hermit. This is a, a good card. I've actually used this morph ability and, uh, on this card with the Sapperlings. Uh, when I used to run Doubling Season in this deck, I had this plus Doubling Season. Then I ended up playing uh, Overwhelming Sampede and was able to win with this deck. So I fairly like this card a lot. Another good defensive card, Vigor. Bane of Progress. Acid, Acidic Slime. Cryptoplast Rootkin. And last one, uh, I'll also bring the other one in because I like this pair. It's a uh, Pier and Toothy. I love this little pair. It's a good flavor uh, card. Uh, Pier and Toothy. It's really good. It really goes great with this deck. The way that it synergizes with not only with a plus one, but also with the draw uh, card draw as well. I really like this pair. So, kind of going off of that, this is actually one of like uh, five blue card, mono blue cards that I have in this deck. So, obviously, you got. Toothy to go with the Toothy and Peer uh, combo. Then I have Invisible Stalker. And Viral Drake. Go with the Proliferate and a little bit of effect. Also some in effect. A Blighted Agent. And Sage of Hours. Yes, I run the infamous Sage of Hours combo in this deck. So if you don't know what the Sage of Hours combo is with this deck, is when you have Azuri out and you get enough experience counters, you can take those experience counters on your combat and put them onto Sage of Hours, which Sage of Hours says if you remove all 1-1 one -one counters from it, for every 5 counters removed this way, take an extra turn. So as long as I have 5 uh, experience counters, I can pretty much infinite combo turn the game out now granted i wouldn't actually do that to kind of like you know a casual fair game so i'll maybe use this like maybe once or twice and you know kind of get an extra turn every uh, uh, each turn but in, in a sense i could infinite combo turn and just lock everybody out of the game with this card and also my last creature that i have in the deck is ujin's conjurant so those are the few blue and one colorless creature that I have in this deck. Alright, the next set of cards we're going to go over are the instants in this deck that I run. Alright, using a steady progress, uh, proliferate, and card draw. Fuel of the cause, counter spell, and proliferate. Void slime, another counter and uh, spell. Teferi's Time Twist. Plasm Capture, another counter. And Crozen Grip. Alright, next set of cards we're going to go over are the sorceries that I run in this deck. Run Verdant Confluence. Azuri's Predation. And like I said earlier, I run Overwhelming Stampede. Kaldama's Reach. That's one of the a staple green cards for any green, or running any kind of green. Overrun. Cultivate. Unexpected Results. Urban Evolution. I really like this card. I don't know why. Just the fact that you're drawing gets it. It's kind of expensive for five, five drop, 
But drawing three cards and being able to kind of add an extra land, help land ramp, I kind of like that. All right, Tessert's Gambit, another draw and proliferate card. This is a draw two. Continuous Plan, another draw and proliferate. And Rampant Growth for that land ramp. Next set of cards is going to be Enchantments that I run in this deck. Cryptolith Rite. Beastmaster Ascension. One of my win condition cards is Simic Ascendancy. And in in Bowl Tide. This helps out a lot with proliferate. Anytime I cast a spell, proliferate. Great. Great enchantment for this deck. And last one I run is Guardian's Project. Or Guardian Project. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is run through some of the artifacts I run this deck. Uh, one of the big ones I like that I'm running that's actually new to this deck, I just put it in this deck, is Cage Sun. Uh, with this, I'm obviously going to be running green since I'm running a, a load of green in this deck. Um, so definitely going to be run, uh, calling for green. A Simic Key Rune. One of my favorite cards, Gilded Lotus, as well as Soul Ring. It's a staple. I love this art on this old uh, vintage uh, Soul Ring. Thought Vessel, help out with the hand size. Dark Steel Ingot, some Proliferates, this Contagious Class, and Swiftfoot Boots. Alright, last thing I'm going to go through is some of the utility lands that I'm running in this deck. Uh, Simith Growth Chamber, Temple of Mastery, or Mystery, excuse me, Command Beacon, Simic Guild Gate, Evolving Wilds, uh, Novingen Heart of Progress, sorry if I butchered that name, the Classic Command Tower, Mossworth Bridge, help out with uh, maybe a uh, hide in a secret weapon later. Help out with some proliferates, Karn's Bastion, uh, Thornwood Falls, Orn Reef, the Vast Wood, help out with some plus ones, Land of War Reborn, Vivid Growth, one of my definite favorite cards, uh, Relic with Tower. And Vivid Creek. Now, along with uh, obviously, along with the utility lands, you have the basic blue and green lands. So that is what I am running in my Azuri Claw Progress deck. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, uh, constructive criticisms, uh, please leave a comment down in below. Uh, if you like it, I'm gonna try. It. Get me and the guys are going to try to get some more uh, deck text out. Uh, like, if you like what you see, subscribe. Uh, and we'll catch you later.